There are three ways that you can make money in today's day and age, it seems like. Number one is screwing people over and shoving the sandpaper dildo up their butt. Number two is, well, you actually have a product that you can sell to people. And that actually is going to improve or at least shape their lives for the better. Or number three, you can provide some kind of service that is actually going to help people live a more prosperous and fulfilled life. And you know, of course, so out of all those three, the, the third one is gonna be the most challenging. And I know that because that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And anybody that's trying to tell you these gay dating gurus or these financial gurus or whatever like that, <laughs> these influencer gurus, oh, get a million followers this way. This is how I got a million Instagram followers in less than 10 days or whatever. <laughs> Anybody that tells you stuff like this is probably going to ask you, number one, for your whole bank account. <laughs> it's like, oh, just give me the $5,000. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll teach you about some things that you may or may not already know about. Okay. Well, the problem is with a lot of these people is that they are trying to shove a sandpaper dildo up your butt or they just have a product that they want to sell you. And you know, that's fine. As far as the product goes, I don't condone the first option, but you know, this is the world that we live in. And this is the way that a lot of people are viewing life in this day and age. And I'm somebody that still believes in virtue. I'm still somebody that acts in virtue at least to the best of my ability. I'm not gonna be out here trying to say I'm better than anybody or I'm more holier than anybody, but I, uh, I at least try to live by what I preach, unlike a lot of other people out there. And that's the first thing that I look to see to see if somebody's trustworthy or not. And so if this person is really trustworthy, they're probably going to be practicing what they preach and leading by example. Now, what separates the people that are actually trying to help and the people that are actually trying to just sell you a dream is that the people that know how to sell you a dream are really good at making it seem like you're not going to have to work for anything in order to get what you're going to get. And the people that actually want to help you are going to be showing you how to actually make decisions and make accountability changes in your life to ensure that the probability of what you want to see transformed in your life will actually occur and that actually takes inner work that actually takes acknowledging what are what you're going through it it takes acknowledging how you're going through certain things it takes the acknowledgement of just everything that's brought you to this place in your life to begin with and so a lot of the times when these people try to sell you a dream they're really, really good at making it seem like you don't have to work for what you get. And that's the first sign of somebody that's trying to manipulate you, is that you're not gonna have to work for what you get. And any kind of job that seems too good to be true, any kind of work that seems too good to be true, probably is, okay? And as far as the alpha courses go, like have you guys seen this where people have like these, how to be more of an alpha male? Do you know that the only thing that you need to be more alpha is like literally semen retention? That's really all you need and you'll just get it naturally. Okay, you don't need a course to teach you anything like that. There's going to be a few fine tunings and things that you're going to have to work through because like any any kind of instrument you play, right? Sometimes the strings or the notes will kind of get out of key. You've got to learn how to adjust and make sure that Dang bug there you got to make sure and adjust that you know you're in the proper key if you're playing a, a, a song in the the key of E but all of your instruments are tuned to the key of B or whatever it's not gonna sound okay it's not gonna sound good and so it's really just about you getting the right key and the right frequency align with what you're actually trying to do and you know that's the whole point for a lot of this manifestation stuff manifestation is not outside of you whatever you're trying to manifest is already inside of you and that's one of the reasons why 
I talk about semen retention, for example. But for women as well, this can just go with celibacy and purity in general. Purity is going to be the key to unlocking a lot of different kinds of secrets in your life. And if you don't believe me, that's okay, but I'm living proof of that. I've been on semen retention slash celibacy for over two and a half years, almost two and a half years now. And since May of 2022, and, and uh, I'll have to say that I've never been more financially physically, spiritually, or emotionally healthy in my life. <laughs> Even with all the crazy stuff that's been happening and all the, the changes that I've had to make recently and even with everything that's gone wrong but also that's gone right over the past few months for my, for my life personally, it's been great. And I'm in more of a position now to be living a life on my own terms than I ever have been before. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I do the Regal Change Academy. And that's, you know, we have courses in the Regal Change Academy, but really it's more of a community where you can engage with other, other people and talk with other people that are like-minded. And again, there are courses coming and we've got some big stuff following down the line here for Regal Change Academy that I'll be talking about more in future videos. And there's more in announcements, I suppose, not necessarily in videos, but the difference between stuff like the Regal Change Academy and all these people that want your, your bank account is with the Regal Change Academy, it's $10 a month. And guess what? If you don't want, if you don't want to continue it, you can cancel it any time. But if you like it, well, hey, it's only $10 a month. So that's really the point that we're trying to make there. And we're actually trying to help people in that community whether you're trying to start a business, whether you're trying to learn more about how to be righteous, learning more about God's word, learning more about just how to, how to heal from any trauma or how to meditate. We've got a lot of different kinds of resources in there and we've got a great group of people there too. And if it weren't for some of the people in there and that community, I wouldn't even be as knowledgeable about certain things that I would be today. And we've done that community now since either April, I believe, of this year. So in just a matter of a few months, it just goes to show that your net work is your net worth, right? So, and, and guess what? The, these people that are going to try to teach you how to, how to get women and get rich, if that's really what you're doing all this stuff for in life, then I feel sorry for you. I really do because uh, there's so much more to life and I understand that some people don't see that I understand that some people might not understand that but there really is so much more to life and to think that you're gonna be spending it trying to chase a bag and chase tail is I mean if you want to do that go for it but good luck finding fulfillment there because I've been down that road and I tried it once. I tried to be a player. It was terrible. I only tried it for a couple times that I did, and I was just, I felt more empty than ever. Whenever I've tried to chase money, it's never been leading me down the path of virtue. In fact, at the time of COVID, I was offered a job making significantly more money than I was at the time. And all I had to do, I had the job, all I had to do was to get the and I chose not to do that, even though it was a lot more money. And it, looking back, I, I know it was a test, but I didn't really know it was a test at the time. I didn't realize the significance of it at the time, but it was really like God showing me and asking me, are you who you say you are? And because here, here's the opportunity to, to demonstrate that to me. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So, all this goes to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that you need to really make sure that what you're doing in this life is productive, useful, and insightful, not only to yourself, but to the people around you. And with that being said, I hope this message was useful and insightful. And until next time, peace be with you.